All right, guys, welcome back for episode two of Genesis Noir. Light reflected upon a pool, volcanic rock, now dark and cold, incubated organic molecules as they sloshed with the tide. Hydrophilic lipids clumped together, forming self-assembling bilayer walls. Enclosure gave rise to single-celled organisms, which soon began endlessly to recreate their own image. The waters filled with life, consuming itself, vainly reproducing itself, larger and larger, life would explode as sexual reproduction birthed seemingly endless variety. What could imbue inert carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen with desire? A phenomenon called abiogenesis is not yet understood. All that is known is that in a pool, life began. Alright, we are spying at something. Alright, so, reflection. Interesting. So this seems to be kind of a linear level. What is that thing? A familiar golden ring discarded. Okay, I cannot make the initials inside. Man, this game... I'm kind of gonna be honest with you guys, I'm trying to comment it, but... At some point I'm at a loss of words, like... This is so weird. I cannot even comprehend what I'm seeing, like, is that a tie? What is a tie doing here? <laughs> a giant tie. A tie loosened and brusquely tossed aside, brings back vivid memories of the past. M, M, and G, B. Oh, I know who M, M is, though. Uh, I think the girl, the woman we're after, is called Miss Mass, right? So, no idea who G, B is. That's probably either us. Oh, no. Hold on. It's the bad guy. All right, now I've got it down. M, M is Miss Mass, which is the girl. And G, B is Golden Boy, which is the bad guy. Like, the guy with the saxophone and the, and the gun that shot Miss Mass. All right. Alright, looks like we're in a club or something. And yet again, it seems like we're gonna solve our problems by drinking alcohol. <laughs> that is not a very educational message by the game, but alright. Here goes. Like all the games, the minigames are really simple. Not too much of a challenge. But that's the kind of game we're playing, I guess. Alright, and after that, we can be on our way again. I don't know if there's any significance in collecting these bubbles. I think they just uh, are meant to show the way. And there's Golden Boy. It seems kind of sad. Oh, and now it's our turn to do something. I can pick up a rock or watch this ornate flask, dented and unloved. <laughs> oh man, the tones of sad sadness in this game. Can we throw a rock or something? Alright, let's see if that gets his attention. Not very much, it looks. Or how about the big one? Can we maybe get the big rock? Will that have an impact? Oh, now he reacts, though. So. Alright, we got him to play some tunes, but I don't think there's any significance to that. What did he throw? An elegant lapel flower that could be tossed to a fan or hurled at a heckler. Oh, we can clap! Oh, nice! <laughs> we are appealing to his ego! Alright, let's keep clapping then! Ah, 
Ah, that's exactly what Golden Boy wants. Some moral support. Yes, keep it up, Mr. Golden Boy. Give him all you got. More solo, please. Still sad though. Shed a tear there. Nice. That was a nice part of the game actually. Love the musical parts. Now I'm guessing uh, we should head in maybe. Can we retrieve that saxophone? Or what is our goal? Anyways, I wish you guys could actually see me right now. This is one of those few times where a camera would, been, uh, <laughs> would have been awesome because I was bobbing my head up and down like the entire time through the solo. Man, what a time to live in, right? If you were Alive during the jazz times, during the heights of that music. Oh man. I mean, don't get me wrong, our era is fine, but jazz music, and there's something I missed. Alright, now we venture underwater, I guess. Some Golden Boy posters flying around. Oh, is it puzzle time? Yeah, it looks like we gotta connect the dots here. Alright, first one was easy. I don't know what the logic is. To be honest with you, I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling on how to connect these dots. It kind of seems like we have a sun, a black hole in planets. Well, that was a weird one. That took me a while. I really wish I knew what the logic is behind these things. Somehow you connect the suns to a uh, white ball, which I have no idea what it is, maybe a dead star or something. Then it lights up the rest of them. And then it is just kind of a game of chance as far as how to connect the white, uh, the rest of the white dots. Well, in this case, we were fast enough, nice. Oh, it keeps going, man. Lots of puzzles. I should probably connect the suns to the closest white dots. That would make sense. Oh, and now we got kind of a double helix going on here. Interesting. Nice. That kind of looked like a DNA sequence. And this one, in turn, kind of looks like, I don't know, a flower, maybe. I think we got it. Oh, we just need to connect these two, yes. And we're done. What are these things now? Okay, I can collect some of them. And we form something. I think we're trying to form... Uh, I don't know. Animals or something. Some kind of species, maybe. Because we seem to be kind of in a... Uh, Tap combination of puzzles here. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> I 
All right, let's keep vibrating. Oh, now some new elements getting added. You can see there's some cylinders there mixed inside the other uh, usual stuff. I don't know why they're all going black like that, though. Does this mean we fail to create something? So maybe we gotta keep trying until we find kind of a winning combination, I guess. guys look satisfied so we made something right when they are forming kind of a spiral I don't know what the spiral represents but it is our objective we're kind of looking to form a golden spiral for whatever reason oh now are these yeah there seems to be like two live organisms we're gonna make them uh, mate maybe are they gonna have children and things like that? Oh, they did reproduce something, yes. And I'm guessing now I'm supposed to combine this? Okay. We're gonna give some random combinations a try here. And there's an organism here. Oh, and he is seeking a partner, I guess. Did we find him one? Let's see, is anybody gonna venture closer to him? Come on, boys! I'm available for dating. Well, for mating, actually, <laughs> not for dating. Ah, the miracle of reproduction. I guess we're at this stage of the game. Oh, and even more combinations now, okay, cool. Oh, somebody is answering the call. Nice. And it's it's just a little guy. Interesting. Of all the years, possible combinations, that was the one I least expected to be successful. That goes to show you, maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the meaning of this stage. Like anything can be possible when you can combine mammals, I guess, uh, in infinite numbers. The combinations kind of are endless. All right, who is gonna answer that call now? All right, let's see, is anybody available? Oh, this guy looks intent. Come on. Yes, and we made it. And I'm guessing we we created sea life right now, fish and stuff. All right, can we grab this saxophone now? Well, step by step it looks like. Yes, a Tarish saxophone. A dingy body reflects little light. The trail has gone dark. Now, there is a little fish there. Interacting with us. No idea what that's about. And I'm guessing we are out of here. Three hundred eighty thousand years after the Big Bang, the universe was like a smoke filled chamber from which light could not escape. The stars had not yet arrived, and a haze of hydrogen would smother all light until their appearance. Over hundreds of millions of years, the pressure of gravity condensed the first star from this cloud of hydrogen and ignited a fire across the whole universe. Memories of the Dark Age, however, linger to this day, 
for at the heart of every gas giant lives a failed star. And again, we're on a linear level, following this golden dusk of bubbles. Is that a wood burning? Interesting. Oh no, I think that is actually part of a cigarette. Or a cigar. Fresh embers, still fragrant. Which probably means golden boys close by. Is this going to be about the miracle of fire? Alright, so what are we supposed to do with fire here? Burn everything, I guess. A matchbook from the hopper. Oh, interesting, that's the diner we saw the very uh, first sequence of the game. A diner with good coffee and bad eggs. A single match is missing. Oh, interesting. Who took it and why? Or is it this thing here? A shirt flyer from the constant club. Brings back vivid memories of the past. Oh, and somebody put a uh, cigarette to Miss Massa's face. Interesting. Starstruck is the name of our chapter then. Oh, and we are back at the beginning of the game. Let's head to the back of the club, I guess. Now, will we have to break this door down as well? Or will somebody open me this time? <laughs> yeah, I think they've had enough doors broken down. Let's head in. Is Miss Mask going to perform for us? Ooh, I had to open the lights for the show to start. All right, let's move closer then. All the way to the first table and maybe even closer, I guess. That is our girl after all, remember? These two are kind of involved with Golden Boy they are getting in the middle. I pop the bubbles again. We know the drill. Get on with it. He needs his courage to approach Miss Mass, I guess. Ooh, and now we're too close. Interesting. And the wink of her eye sends us backwards. I'm guessing we're gonna have to try harder. All right, as we navigate a weird, weird world of cigarette butts. <laughs> oh man, this game keeps getting weirder and weirder. Now, can I get into this planet maybe? Inside a star now. And of course, there is the big bad villain again. Smoking his cigar. Oh, I should blow it out maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna get on his nerves again. Oh, now he's gonna get angry! Oh, ouch, man, jeez. <laughs> Why you gonna treat me like that? Putting a cigarette butt through my face. <laughs> and 
Now, see, that didn't accomplish much. I have no idea how this brought me any closer to my goal, which is uh, preventing the murder. A cigarette butt smelling of an extinguished ego. It's tightly wound and recently put out. A piece of evidence to be filed. Oh, so I actually wanted to get the cigarette butt, so I baited him into uh, <laughs> kind of putting it out on my face, I guess. <laughs> There's no way, better way of explaining this. It's so weird of a game. All right, and I guess we're out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.